The scene begins in a tense situation with water damage to furniture. Someone needs to change into dry clothes and check on a person named Iris, indicating recent conflict or drama that needs resolution. A revealing conversation begins about supernatural abilities, specifically shape-shifting powers. A bottle cap becomes central to a question and answer game between the participants, leading to important revelations about their capabilities. The origins of the supernatural powers are traced back to high school, emerging from a difficult family situation involving parental separation. The pressure of maternal expectations and emotional burden led to the development of these abilities as a coping mechanism. The nature of the powers is explained as involving access to a parallel world. A disturbing revelation emerges about a potential future murder captured in a photograph, creating tension and urgency in understanding these events to prevent tragedy. Past actions involving shape-shifting are revealed, including incidents with Lucas and his son Robbie and impersonating Gwen to deal drugs. These actions were motivated by revenge for a cancelled book deal and perceived betrayals. Additional supernatural abilities are discussed, including past time rewinding powers. The conversation explores the ethical implications and personal growth that came from having such abilities, emphasizing the importance of living with choices. A tragic history involving Maya Okada is revealed. The story involves literary theft, betrayal, and eventual tragedy, leading to a current mission of justice and vindication. The situation connects to a larger conspiracy involving multiple parties. A plan forms to expose Lucas at an event called Krampus on campus. The strategy involves using supernatural abilities and evidence to reveal the truth about past misdeeds, particularly regarding Maya's story. The execution of the plan begins, requiring coordination with various people including Reggie, Ben, and potentially Gwen. The focus is on controlling a projector to share evidence during the event. Technical preparations for the plan proceed, involving careful manipulation of projection equipment. The operation requires precise timing and coordination between multiple parties to succeed in exposing the truth. A tense situation unfolds as characters discuss strategy during what appears to be a critical moment. The situation seems dire with only two rounds remaining in what is described as an impossible game. A crisis develops regarding school property maintenance. Moses steps in to help Reggie with a projector issue for an upcoming roast event. The situation initially seems serious, but turns out to be a simple technical problem with the focusing motor. Plans are revealed for hijacking a roast event, with Moses being recruited to help run a slideshow. The atmosphere is filled with preparation and anticipation for what appears to be a significant event requiring precise execution. Discussion centers around holiday decorations and end-of-year fatigue. The conversation reveals tensions about control over space and decorating decisions, with comments about the seemingly endless nature of the school year. Activity focuses on gingerbread house construction, highlighting connections between parallel situations. A broken chimney piece creates a minor crisis that requires creative problem solving. Major revelations emerge about employment termination and plans to expose truth about Lucas's book during the roast. The conversation reflects disillusionment with institutional change and personal career challenges. Tension builds around Lucas's professional reputation and upcoming announcements. Questions about artistic integrity and success arise, leading to discussions about a potential movie deal for Wilder Beasts. A dramatic confrontation unfolds during the roast as Maya Okada's true role in creating Wilder Beasts is exposed. The revelation challenges Lucas's credibility and raises questions about literary theft and authenticity. The confrontation intensifies with accusations about betrayal and exploitation. Past relationships between the characters are revealed, highlighting complex dynamics of trust and power abuse in academia. 
The situation deteriorates rapidly as emotional tensions reach a breaking point. Characters experience intense psychological distress, manifesting in repeated accusations of betrayal and deception. A critical moment unfolds involving supernatural elements and family drama. Long hidden truths about parental manipulation and control emerge, leading to dangerous confrontation atop a building. The situation reaches its climax with a life-threatening scenario involving a gun. The final moments are filled with intense emotion, regret, and a sense of impending disaster as control appears to be lost.